Hello there, this is Red Joy, and I am starting a Fallout 3 run. Now you're probably wondering, why am I doing Fallout 3 and not Fallout 2? Well, it's because I, um, to be completely honest, I have, uh, I noticed that my views for Fallout 2 were a little low, and I fall, and, and I kind of have the feeling that, um, I think something a little more fast-paced, a little more action-oriented. Um, it's going to be nice uh, if I want to continue in the Fallout series. So I'm switching from Fallout 2 to Fallout 3. Yes, it's a brand new story. Yes, it's a brand new character, all that, yada yada. But uh, I think it's just going to be more fun to watch. So with that said, um, the way we're going to do it is we're going to do a playthrough for Fallout 3. I have my mods listed in the in the description below. There are too, number, too many to mention. It took a very long time to install. Uh, and then we're going to go into Fallout New Vegas. So, and by the way, I know there are mods that kind of connect the two and they're really cool, but we're not going to do with that mod. But, well, might as well get started. We'll start with the intro video, create a new character, and probably go through the vault today. I'm a baby! <laughs> Let's see. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy! It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh. oh James. We did it. You're damn straight. You did it. Oh, let's face it. She did the work. I know it takes two to tango, but you know. Bright future ahead of you, son. Let's face it, fellas. Sure of it. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about? Okay, so I actually have not given this any thought. Uh, his name is James. So. I think another J name might be appropriate. Another J name might be appropriate. Let's call him. Why not Julius? That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Probably not. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. My goal is not to get stabbed in the back. Let's do that. Uh, we're not going to spend a huge amount of time because, let's face facts, uh, it's not going to be like we're uh, spending a bunch of time looking at ourselves in the mirror. There's one on here. It's either this one or this one. I'll go with this one. And... Hairstyle, the saw. Look at that. Look at that. Do I go buzz cut? Actually, I'm gonna go buzz cut. Buzz cut. Back. We'll change the hair color. Make it all black. Jet black. No facial hair. Um, let me see if I can change the eye color. Let's do hazel eyes. Very rarely go hazel. And I think that's good. Don't need too much time. We're not even spending that much time looking at the character, so there's no real point in me you know, figuring out what size of jaw I need, what size of mouth I need. This looks fine. This looks good. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh. But will I be Liam oh. Neeson? Very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son. Full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? You're just James? A... Catherine? James? Catherine. 
She's in cardiac arrest. Start compression. Get the baby Come on, guys. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Get me out of here. I don't want to. Okay. You want We need a doctor, not a dead man. This was on the house. Fail to meet my expectations, and there will be. Look straight into the light. James and his cheery chatter. Decorations. Your future makes some noise in this place. Will feel just like home. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to Daddy. All right, fine. There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. You damn straight and walking like a pro. So proud. Listen, kiddo. I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. Lies. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be yeah. okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. Don't forget, cigarettes are down the alleyway. All right. Well, let's see here. Open the playpen gate. Aha! I have opened the playpen gate. Look at this detail. Look at all this. Children are the future. Good citizens raising good citizens. <laughs> oh, I want to open his clothes. Oh, there's my baby feet. Okay. Teddy bear. Teddy bear! Teddy bear! Throw it around the room! A duck! Teddy bear! Teddy bear! Teddy bear! Teddy bear! Let go. Okay. Alright, let's hop up in the chair. There we go. Now I'm a real man. Ah, toy car. Bunch of garbage. Alright. Am I special? Am I special? I have not looked up any builds whatsoever. S is for strength. That means I can carry stuff. P is for perception. It's a long, funny word. It means what I tasted, smelled, and heard. E is for endurance. That's how long I can play. I'm always really healthy and have energy all day long. C is for charisma. That's why people think I'm great. I make my friends all laugh and smile and never want to hate. I is for intelligence. It means I are smart. I use my brain for lots of stuff like science and math and art. A is for agility. That's how I get around. I move real fast and easy and I never make a sound. L is for luck and it's simple. You see? It means that good things always happen to me. Alright, let's see here. What kind of build am I going to do? Well, I'm going to shoot things. Because this is a first person shooter, I'm going to shoot things. In order to shoot things, I don't need a huge amount of charisma. Uh, I don't need all of the endurance. But I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep luck as it is. I know critical hits are really important. It's really um, intelligence, uh, agility, and perception are the big things I need. So, uh, again, I am not an expert. This is not an expert build. Um, I might regret not having as many HP uh, or being able to make friends, although I will probably tag speech because, let's face it, it's kind of necessary. Okay, and then, yeah. I'm special. All right, I'll figure out where my father is. Get them drugs. What? What? Ridiculous. I'm gonna go bash my teddy again. Why can't you tell me where my father is? Oh, oh, there you are. You are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Yeah. That was me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. Okay, I'm gonna put my toy you know, away. It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21 6. Mm. I am Alpha and Omega beginning and the end I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely he always loved that all right come on 21 six wants to play. all right you know I'm not wearing pants you know that right don't think Amada's gonna be very impressed the overseer however he might be very impressed 
they have damaged the floor. The experiment to prepare. Prepare for survival. Oh, my eyes! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Yeah. Happy birthday. Can you believe it? I can't believe you're already 10. I'm so proud of you. You are? If only your Congratulations, mother. young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do yeah, I? I don't know how to Down tell here you. Vault 101, when you turn 10, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibility. I'm not taking off my pants. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Ah, uh, okay. Oh man, you got a pit boy. I wish I was ten. Paul. Happy birthday. Oh. We really surprised you, didn't we? Yeah, you Mana. Know, I can't <laughs> see you. I was afraid you were on to us, but I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You call me stupid? You call me stupid? <laughs> Great party, though. Seriously, you call me stupid. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. I really have no idea. Probably, I don't know, some playing cards that I gave <laughs> I to you. I knew I'd surprise you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Issue 14. And with no missing pages. My I word, what is wrong with you people and not wearing Believe pants? Not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was 10 once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Yeah. Happy birthday. Hi, Paul. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. Paul. Are you two best friends now? Yeah, Paul. Why don't you introduce us to your new best friend? Who do you mean, Dork? Attention, everyone! Happy birthday, it's time Dork. To the cake. <laughs> you know. Andy, wait. How's it going, pal? Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. When you're waiting, your daddy for present, came, aren't you? I thought I was born. You didn't have to give me a present. No, yes you did. Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Oh, you know, you oversight is right at your nice table, right? A roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. Happy birthday! Jesus Christ! Really? Oh, no. <laughs> Allow me to wish you a happy birthday. I would offer you a piece of cake, but... How do you like that, Pip Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? You know, I'm going to talk to you about your robot. I think, I think it's time to put him down. Oh, the the the, the Pip Boy. Yeah, the Pip Boy's fine. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Yeah. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday. Not much, but I hope you like it. It's the baseball bat. Mm, it's a baseball cap. How's it going, pal? Dad, it's going good. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Why would I ever do that? Why would I ever, ever do that? Why would I ever do that? I think, I think you should talk to your mother about her drinking. Don't you talk about my mom, you little punk. Not to act all official. I what are you going to do? Joking, what are you going to do? Else... What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Butch, Leave what do you think you're doing? Her. Leave him alone. <laughs> you all right, son? He didn't hurt you, did he? I hope Butch didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? I think he should be locked up. But I'm not a pansy, so, you know, snitches, do, snitches get stitches. 
That's fine, son. I'm glad to see you're not letting Butch bully you. He's gonna be a handful in a few years if his mother doesn't take him in hand. Well, no harm done then. Why don't you get back to enjoying your party? Can I get? I know you were busy with the water Nice pit boy. What is that? Fine, I hope. One of the three thousand. Oh, sure, nothing to worry about. What? Me and Andy got her all done. Just call her Jay. You know, I would have exceptions to that, Wally. Enjoying yourself? Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. You better not. Overseer, I have nothing to say to you. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. You sure did. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. Beatrice. And now look at you. I'm not taking out my pants. A great big grown-up ten-year-old. Jesus. With your very own Pip-Boy. <laughs> Wearing jumpsuits. How would we take off our pants in the first place? I wrote you a poem. <sighs> just for you. I hope you like it. I will treasure it always. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. All right. Let me read this get done with. All right. Whoa, look at that. Hey, I lost five hit points, that little punk. I'm going to go in and steal his, uh, steal his mom's alcohol. Then I'll pin it on him. Yeah, that's the way we'll do it. Baseball cap. I get... Plus five melee weapons? Heck yeah, I'm gonna wear that. Grobnar. Grob Grognak the Barbarian? Yes, please. And a sweet roll. Oh, God. It's amazing I could stop time to get that. It's wonderful. All right, let's read this poem. That's the PA system. I don't need that. A birthday poem. Gray walls, impenetrable steel, suffocation, condemnation, little hands groping in subterranean uncertainty. Mommy? Daddy? Am I dead? Nay, nay, reborn into purifying fluorescence. A face emerges, strong and male, father to me, father to all, overseeing our lives, our eternities. Harshness of discipline, harshness of love, obedience, my savior. Larva to poopa, poopa to worker, buzz, buzz, one with steel honeycomb. Ten lies within the 101, significant at last. Till gray seeps from the walls to hair to soul. Then eternal slumber, the sweet sleep of incineration. I'm not taking off my pants. Cool, right? Jeez, what's Butch's problem anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. Yeah, well, he wanted my sweet roll. God, he really is a butthead. Oh well, you can always count on Butch to make an ass of himself. Get it? <laughs> nah! Uh, Thank you for coming, uh, Beatrice. No I way. hope you're having a nice time. Oh my goodness, I wouldn't have missed it for the world. That dear boy is like a son to me. Creepy. How are you enjoying the party, Mrs. Palmer? Properly maintained vault. Oh, well, I guess I'm not going in there. Oh, he said the reactor level. The upper level? The reactor level. The upper level? The reactor level. Stop wasting time. Come on, Julius. Oh, neat. Oh, wow. What a nice guy. Hmm. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. My teeth are tingling. 
<laughs> you sure are. Pip boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. We're like the J gang, right? You're Jonas. I'm Julius. My dad's James. Man, three. I was about to say three J's, but that I sounds racist. For your surprise. What kind of surprise? The overseer gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. Holy it's Christ! It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. Took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch must place that switchblade of his. <laughs> Can we talk about how a nine-year-old has a switchblade? Can we talk about how a nine-year-old has a switchblade? A little, a little scary. All right, well, we can't shoot a gun down here. We sure can't, unless we've got <clears throat> the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. I was going to shoot it in the house, Dad. I was going to shoot it, I don't know, anywhere. What is this? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Targets right at head level. Dad, you're the best. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. I shall make this my life's work. This is so great. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Uh, I'm going to do that right now because I am a polite young Happy man. Birthday, buddy. I hope you have fun with it. This is really cool. Hey, you don't turn 10 every day. Now go on and let me see you shoot something. All right. Here we go. Bye. Hmm. Yeah, so cool. Oh my God, so cool. Yes. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Hold still. Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Resilient little fella. Good work. That's one less round roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Okay. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. You know, I don't think I should point that at anyone's head. Smile. Yeah. I can't see. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. Gross. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. I know, but there are oh, other teenagers there. They're so take. disgusting. Uh, anything I need to know about the GOAT? The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Is it a kick in the balls? figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. I'm not taking off my pants. You know what pants. the overseer says? We are born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? Well, uh... Well, first off, do we die in the vault? Can't we ever leave? That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Right. Especially not around the overseer. <clears throat> I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there on the outside that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. How would you know? You have you asked her in 16 years. Maybe she'd be like, you know, the boy could use some sunshine. A little radiation's not going to hurt him. No, dust his knees a little bit. Shoot a couple of raiders. Is that what's up there? Raiders? Uh, was everyone born in the vault? That's what the overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. Hmm. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. 
All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe. And you're safe here. Okay, well, if you really say so. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. Yep, yeah, rules are made now. to be broken. So this year, you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Okay, well, I am probably going to cheat on it. Can we talk about mom? Your mother, she... She was beautiful. What did she do on a goat? But beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate. About life. About love. But most of all, most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, oh, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. Okay, whoa, 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 wait. That's an honorable profession, okay? Don't judge me if I become a garbage burner, all right? Yeah, son. <clears throat> Get out of here, and good luck. It's better than being a politician. Oh, look at that! Now, I'm as qualified as medicine as you are, old man. <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? I did. Hey, 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 sport. It's been a while since you stopped in here to see us. It's morning, the big goat day. Morning, Doc. How's things? Hey, what's up, buddy? Look over these results. I'm a little I worried. Going over them. <laughs> I hope Jonas about? can take a look at me soon. Jeez, you look terrible. Can you give it to me so I don't have to take this test? I'm a little worried. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Jonas can take a look at me soon. Well, hope it's not COVID. Bye. Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes! You know, Amada, there's a whole walkway around here. Tunnel snake, Amada. Oh. God, Butch. Back off. Why don't you just leave me alone? Sorry. What are you Show it to do, her, Butch. Amada? Go She's run and tell your Butch. daddy on us. You think you're special because your daddy is the overseer? Let's go into the storeroom, Amada. I'll show you a good time. Hey, Paul. Tunnel snakes rule. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. So, I mean, like, what's all this about the tunnel snakes? That's us, and we rule. No one messes with the tunnel snakes, or they have to answer to Butch and Wally. You don't want to be on their bad sides. Trust me. Yeah, but, like, why are you picking out a mod? None of your business, because Butch said so. And what Butch says goes. Tunnel snakes rule. Yeah. So, like, do you always listen to Butch? Because he's <clears> my <throat> pal, my brother. All us tunnel snakes are brothers. Birth to earth, womb to tomb. Mostly because tunnel snakes rule. I mean, like, why are you though? Tunnel snakes rule. So, you're in the tunnel snakes. What do you guys actually rule? You got that right. Better not forget it either. Can't think of anything. Butch says this little bitch is blabbing to her daddy about us tunnel snakes. We can't have that. Because we're the tunnel snakes and we rule. Okay, well. Much later. Tunnel snakes rule. Get away from me. Yeah? What do you want? I don't want to cut your hair. None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. I'm older than you, you idiot. The snakes. You're asking for it. Got me? You're only 15. Like I'm going to listen to a little shrimp like you. Get lost, Poindexter. And who are you? Her boyfriend? Ha! I'm the old Keep kid. Keep talking like that, boy. And we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. You do know that we have stim packs, right? Like, that's not really... You've got to be kidding me. Come on, Tunnel Snakes. This twerp needs another lesson. Butch, well, stop, stop it. it. Leave him alone. Where? <clears throat> yes, I think like oh, God. Please, stop fighting. Oh, hey, hit him, hit him again. Oh, not my please, ass. stop fighting. You're kidding. Okay. So we're in vats now. <clears throat> So, I'm just gonna hit him a bunch of times. Stop it! 
Come on, tunnel snakes. Yeah, this sure little did. bitch isn't worth our time. So Whatever you say, bitch. You're the boss. Tunnel snakes rule. Well, fine. Let's go. Yeah, that's right. Thanks for getting rid of them. Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Yeah, you should stop telling on them, though. I mean, like, it's a phase, right? Kind of like having a YouTube channel. It's a phase. I'm gonna drink some water. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Why do I make that reaction every time I say something? Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. I'm not taking off my pants. I'm sure you will. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll yes! As soon as everyone's found a seat. Good it's my favorite. My favorite kind of test. Let's not keep the overseer waiting. Ew. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking. And keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. You all are idiots. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Okay, now let's think about this, right? Quantum harmonizer. That would probably harmonize the quantum mechanics of each cell. Therefore, probably... Shutting down the electrons, which would probably disintegrate me. That's not good. But it's either I'm going to knock him down or I'm going to say nothing and slip away. Or I'll just tell him up yours. Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, why would I do that? With a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor stepped out for a while. What do you do? Hmm. Just amputate. I can scream. I can medicate. Observe. I think screaming for help would be good. That's realistically what I would do. Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Hmm. Well, let's see. This is a snitch option. I ain't doing that. Take the stolen property for myself. <clears throat> Compensate the stolen property and leave the boy there as punishment. Give him a hug and tell him everything's okay. Hmm. I like to talk out my problems, even though I'm not that charismatic. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Pitcher, catcher, designated hitter, or I wish we had a soccer team. Hmm. Pitcher's a lot of pressure. Catcher's not that bad. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Oh, well, of course. Question I never knew my grandmother. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Well, first and foremost, first and foremost, that's ridiculous. Like, shouldn't we... I don't know, have doors that automatically open. But if we're going to open it, let's blast Question it open. Seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Well, first off, I'm shaving that hand. Hmm. Well, I think the time has come. Do I need to do that? 
or a medicated precision laser? I think this is the most appropriate. Question. <clears throat> a fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Hmm. Steal it at gunpoint? <laughs> Heck yeah. Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Rob him at gunpoint. No. Hmm. It's in the folds. Hmm. Hmm. This would kill him. This would be unpleasant. This could kill him. This would just be an inconvenience. Question 10. <clears throat> who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Well, obviously, it's me. All of these answers are incorrect, but I suppose I'll go with answer number three. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. We don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. I'm not taking off my pants. All right. Well, let's get this done with. All right. Wow. It says here you're going to be the vault's marriage counselor. Oh, God. That almost makes me want to get married. Just to be able to avail myself of your services. Well, I, I don't think that's a terrible job. It's actually pretty, like, pretty reasonable, right? Like, I just talk to people about their problems. I don't have to do any maintenance. I don't have to do anything. I actually kind of like that. It's a fantastic job. Yes, um, it's refreshing to see such uh, youthful enthusiasm. Damn straight. Good to know that the goat occasionally gets it right. You know what they say about monkeys and typewriters. Well, I'm glad that you taught me so well for you. I hope your classmates find their results half as satisfying. All right, let's see here. Uh, speech and small guns. Definitely want those. I, not energy weapons, though. I think, I either want to go repair or lockpick. I think I'm going to go lockpick. Because that way I can get into stuff. Science is also very tempting. But I think these three are going to be the starters, right? Speech, small guns, and lockpick. Yeah. I think that's just about right. All right. I've got other things to do. Yeah, suck it. Here you are, Mr. Brach. I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisor. Yeah, supervisory track for you. Okay, shocker. All right. Oh, look, you have a bloody nose, Chief. Oh, you little sucker. What did he get? Get out of my face. No, you know yes. you want it. I want to see. What did he get? I wanted to get. Oh, you guys are losers. All right, fine. Screw you all. Look at all this blood. Man, you guys need to go see a doctor about that. I got my face! Come on. Oh god, my eyes! I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on, you've got to wake up. Okay, uh, what's wrong? You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone, and my father's men are looking for you. Damn it! What do you mean my dad is gone? He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone, and my father, he's kind of gone crazy. Did he just open the door? Okay, like. He just opened the door, right? It's Jonas! They killed him! They killed my Jonas? Men. They took him and... Oh my god, you have to leave now! You rat bastards. You killed one-third one, one third of the J-Gang. 
Killed one third of the J gang. It's lucky I got here ahead of them. You <clears> can't <throat> stand here talking. You've got to get out of here. All right. Well, I got my BB gun. I'm sorry, but I think you'll have to follow your dad. You'll have to escape from the vault. Listen, maybe it isn't any of my business, but didn't your dad tell you that he was leaving? No. No, he did not. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Okay. What's your plan? Listen. There's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Hmm. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Okay. Why can't I get out the normal way? My father's not <clears throat> stupid. He sealed the door to the exit to prevent anyone else from escaping. Damn it! The tunnel is the only way out. You're just gonna have to trust me. Well. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Well, I'll use it as a last resort. I okay. promise. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck. Oh, I was supposed to stick this behind my back. Oh. I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. I'm not good with this. All right, let's grab some stuff. BB gun. Check. All right, let's see here. Baseball cap. Check. Go on to utility. Well, it's obvious. Utility. Uh, BB gun, 10 bobby pins. All right, let's see. Let's get on some good apparel, right? Perception plus one. Check. Oh, yes, that's right. This is uh, sprint speed. Um, just to make sure. Allow strafing. Sprint is currently replacing the run key. Okay. All right, so my understanding is, okay, cool. So shift is that. All right, open this up. Oh, drugs, I love drugs. All right. Well, let's see what I got. Weapons. Should I use the BB gun? The pistol. BB gun, pistol. BB gun, or baseball bat. Do as much damage to the baseball bat as you do with the pistol. Lame. Lame. Why do I do as much damage with that? And I don't get it. I don't get it, game. I don't get it. All right. There he is. Hold it right there. Crime any more roaches. Yep, I sure do too. Au revoir. You gotta help me. My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches. Asking me for help. You know, you did give me a bloody nose when you were 15 years old. Yeah, I'm asking you. So what? All right, all Look, right. I'm sorry for the way I've always treated you. You know I never meant any of it, right? But it's my mom. You can't leave her in there with the rad roaches. All right, I'll help. I'm doing this. I'm doing sure, this for her. I, I don't care why. Just get her out of there. All right. Hopefully I get some whiskey out of this. I like whiskey. What the hell? Oh, here we go. Uh, here we go. Did I hit her? Am I hitting her? I don't want to hit her. Ah! 
Here we go. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay. You're the best friend I've ever had, man. Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my tunnel snake's jacket. Go ahead, take it. Dude. Alright, you're not so bad. I mean, really not so bad. I mean, really not so bad. Ah, oh, sweet alcohol. How you doing? Bye. Sneaking on down to the street, walking around. Any more? Grandma Taylor? Any resident found outside his or her quarters will be dealt with severely. Hmm. Reactor is closed. Do I want to go upstairs though? Yeah, let's go upstairs. I'm sure it'll be fine. God, I hate these things. I mean, hold on, son. I just want to talk to you for a minute. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. Not Gomez. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just, just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Oh, dude, you're awesome. I've always liked you. It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. Oh, I like you. Oh, I like you. Alright, let's see. What's going on here? Anything useful? I want to get another copy of that test. I've been doing this marriage counselor shit for three years. God damn it, I hate it so much. So many people and their damned problems. Me and Andy were in a tight spot there. Ain't no mistake. Good thing he loves toasting roaches so much. Ah, young sir. I'm afraid you missed him. I believe he's gone topside for a spot of fresh air. We'll be back any moment, though. I doubt he'll be back any moment. Your left stabilizer's been knocked loose. Ooh, stim pack. If you keep turning like that, I'm gonna crack your casing. Don't blame me for your incompetence. My honey member George used to have the lightest touch. Well, he's not George. George is dead. He's been dead for three years now. It's none of my business. Your dad always took good care of us. Do you have commentary to make? The overseer won't uh, tolerate this kind of behavior. The is <gasps> you want to go? All right. I just killed a man. I just killed a man. I don't think I liked it very much. I expected it to be, you know, a little more. I don't know. What was I expecting it to be? Just killed a man. our only chance don't you see we're getting out of here just like the doctor i'm not gonna let anyone stop us guys i don't think that's a good Tom, idea be careful. thomas oh my god they have guns no. No. Hey. damn it guys that wasn't a wise decision now i have to use my guns let's see here Ow. Oh god. Any 
Gotcha. I wonder, can I repair this stuff? Not past that point, but at least repair that. Less fewer things to carry around. And let's see here. Can't repair that. Can't repair that. Can't really repair that. Okay. go also arm myself with my bat. Sounds like you got a motor loose. Oh! Okay. Amada, what are you doing? Like, why are you running that way? Oh. That was really weird, right? Like, Amada just ran in that direction. Try to catch her. Oh, look at that scrap metal. Nice. Let's see, wonder glue, always useful. I'm really confused as to why Amada was running that way. Nope. Well, let's check these bodies too, make sure there's nothing messed there. Nope. And nope. Okay. Ah, uh, all right. Try to figure out what on earth is going on here, right? Like that's weird. She ran past. I've never seen her run past like that. Well, did you just snitch me out? Well, I have an answer for that. Alright, let's see here. Security Chief Hanlon. Well, you got your weapon ready. Gotcha, son. Oh, poor Floyd. Good hit, though. I'll commend myself for that. How much more weight can I carry? Nice. Alright. Like, I knew I'm not crazy. Uh, I don't want to shoot the overseer. Hit me with a stick, find out what happens. Alright. Yeah, I didn't expect to see that, huh? I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young man. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. 
<sighs> Lay your hand in Amara again, and I will make you regret it. I place the good of the vault above everything, even my own paternal feelings. We must not allow sentiment to cloud our judgment. But I admire your protective instincts. Very well. I give you my word that Amata will not suffer further because of your actions. Now then, if you really care about Amata, you will see how dangerous your father's actions were. Hand over your weapons, and put an end to this dangerous situation. There is no need to join your father as a traitor to the vault. Give me, to, give me the keys to your office and password, and then I'll be going. Oh, is that all? Is there anything else I can get you? While yeah, you're actually, here? any more bullets You'll you get have. Nothing from me. I'll die before I see the safety of the vault compromised again. I'll skip without your help then. Remember, I'm not the one who started killing people. Save your sanctimony. The world is a dangerous place, and I make no apologies for doing whatever it takes to keep the vault. How would you know you've never been out God, in the world? Help me! Alright, well. Let's have. Ooh, water. I like water. Guards. Weapons locker. Ah ha ha ha. Hello. Oh. Just take everything you got. That's okay. Nope. Guards, help! Nobody's coming, sir. Nobody's coming. Nobody's coming. Let's drink some water. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Neato. Okay. Jonas. No! Oh, noticed impact. Thank you. Note from Dad. All right. Listen. Let's uh, listen to a note from Dad. Here we go. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I, I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your Barely. Own. Maybe Barely. things will change and we can see each other again. Barely. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. Positively. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay. Go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. Well, wow, that's just lovely. Good job, Dad. Seriously, Amana? Ooh, more stuff. All right. Thank you. I told you my father wasn't himself. I don't know what he might have done if you hadn't come along. You'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck. Yeah, I killed three people. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about that, but... Well, let's just leave it at that. All right. Bye, Jonas. It's an honor to be a member of the J-Gang. Oh, I'm supposed to open this. Here we go. Well, okay then. Neato. Ah. Now I have a lot of rounds and some drugs. That's empty. What's out here? Thank you, Overseer. Creepy. All right, well, let's open it up. Uh, 
Clickety click 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 click. All right, security dossiers, tunnel snakes, which is leather clad delinquents, it cost them. Services have come in handy. Ooh, creepy. Beatrice. Her mind has gone feeble. Jonas. Never signed him to be. He was always too idealistic for his own good. Now he spends every waking moment. Doctor. Should reason, but the truth is Jonah is a fine medic on his own right. Hiding him down in maintenance would be a terrible waste of resources. You're damn straight. Amada. Every time I try to get Amada to open up, she pushes me further and further away. Oh, boo-hoo. She does try. She looks at me and sees the overseer now as a father. Okay, well. Scouting reports. That's going to be useful. The immediate vicinity of the dirt is no longer da dangerously irradiated. Thank God. Background radiation is still well above safe levels. Pockets of more intense radiation appear. Actually, they've done the science on this. So this actually is probably untrue. Um, they've actually said that after a short while, the radiation would go down pretty quickly. But the intense radiation would be pretty bad at a nuclear fallout. Interesting. So they have Exhibit A. Last Bastion. Alright. Let's Exhibit A. Whoa! It's a big ant. Or it's just a pickup. Close picture. picture. Alright. Looks like a shack of some kind. I don't need to see vault text instructions. I just need to open the tunnel. Ooh, fancy. Okay. Well, first and foremost, Amada. Oh, that's precious. All right, weapons. Let's have the baseball bat out just in case. Well, let's go down. Mmm, tunnely. Gotta hit him with the stick. Open the door. Hmm. Well. Oh, this is the button. Isn't that a thing? That's not the thing. Any lockers down here? Any stuff I should do? All right, let's open her up. Ooh! Oh God, that's so loud! Oh jeez! Oh jeez, it's so loud! I don't like it. Amada, I don't like it. You did it! You opened the door! My god, I almost didn't believe it was possible. Yes, you did. Listen, I couldn't have done it without your help. The gun, mostly. The gun really helps. No, you didn't need me. If anyone can survive out there, it's you. Why don't you come with me? It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more than you do. I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. <laughs> oh, that wasn't serious. If you do catch okay. up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for, for you know, Jonas and, and my father and everything. Goodbye. Alright. There, there he is. Whoa! Hey, ya fellas. Excuse me. V. Thank you. You and your stupid mustache. Oh, the of the Look out! Blood. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, 
I need some, uh... You know, I don't like this. You know what I do like? Let's also remember that a 10 millimeter round is not a tiny gun. Sell this somewhere. Or repair it. Okay. Whew. Well, better take some drugs. Oh man, that felt good. I You've got to get out of here. Someone's sure to come see what's going on. I know. Take care. Okay. I guess. Alright. Oh, what is this? This is ground? Ground. Ground. Let us in, mother. Oh, they don't use that kind of language. Help us. We're dying, assholes. Well, okay. Goodbye. Woo! Well, we made it out. Shocker. Alright, made it out. We don't need to do any changes. We are finished. And that's going to wrap us up for today. If you are interested in watching me continue through Fallout 3, please make sure that you give the video a like, comment, subscribe. I had a lot of fun making this video, and I got to level up, so woohoo! We'll do the level up right before we wrap up, and then we will, um, we'll give our goodbyes. Or, we got guns, where's guns? And then, um, hmm. Let's see. I feel like repair would be useful. Repair and science are both useful. And then, um, we we'll pump up by two. Energy weapons and explosives. There we go. Okay. And then, let's see. Charge, gun nut. Got three ranks, get five additional into guns and small repairs. Tense training increases that. Lady killer, a little eager. Swift learner, thief. Keep my weapon out while sprinting. Now, do I go straight for a skill or do I go for an ability? Hmm. There are additional skills, by the way, here. Or additional feats here, by the way. I I kind of like the idea of this, but I'm also thinking... Like, Lady Killer is not... You know what? Let's open up some dialogues, right? Open up some additional flirtatious uh, dialogues. I think that'll be fine. We do have a level cap remover on here, so we'll be able to get all these later on. But... There we go. So with that, we are going to wrap up for today. Um, as I just said, right before I leveled up, if you, if you like what I do, leave the video a like, comment, subscribe. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Take care and good luck. We're all counting on you.